Thank you very much. As you can see on your program, that number we just played was entitled Blues Night Out, and it featured Corey Atterbury on tenor saxophone, Eric Sarf, alto saxophone, Matt Butchko, Josh Hodson, trumpet, some Kendall Maffin on drums. Blues Night Out. Sammy Nestico has the interesting background on his resume of being both the arranger for the Count Basie Big Band at one time and also the arranger for the United States Marine Band. And those are two kind of distant organizations, but they both had the same arranger at different times in Sammy Nestico. We'd like to play a slow number that he composed entitled Nicole, and it will feature a uh, all-state bass clarinet player for us in our concert band, a uh, two-time all district jazz band selection playing a tenor saxophone solo in Corey Atterbury. Nicole. classic tune titled Shiny Stockings. This tool will feature a little bit of Zach Gray on the drums, Emily Sarnes on the piano, and some Matt Butchko on the trumpet. Shiny Stockings. Thank you. 
ways are here to stall. <laughs> Unfortunately, the best way is for me to talk. Okay. The uh, next tune we'd like to play uh, features the music of a surfing rock group, uh, The Ventures. Mostly known for a different hit of theirs, a Wipeout. Uh, we're not going to play that tonight. I'm sure the drummers are a little bit upset about that. But uh, I know they're a little bit upset about that. But we're not going to play that. We're going to play a different selection of theirs entitled Walk, Don't Run. And uh, we think you'll like it just as much, even if the drummers don't. Walk, don't run. <laughs> saxophone we have Corey Atterbury. Uh, Corey, as I stated before, is a member of the All District Band. He's also a member of the All District Jazz Band. Playing alto and baritone saxophone. We're doing some switching here in a little bit. Uh, Kevin Emmons, he's a member of the All District Jazz Band. Uh, also on alto is Kerry Maffin. Josh Peterson, who's a member of the All District Jazz Band, is playing tenor. Eric Sarf, where are you, Eric? Uh, is also a member of the All District Jazz Band. We have Jesse Steinauer playing Barry Sax over there by the piano. Back in the trumpets, we have Matt Butchko, uh, in, member of the All State Honors Jazz Band last year, and this year he's a member of the All District Jazz Band and the All District Band. Next to him, Josh Hodson, member of the All State Concert Band last year, and he's also a member of the All District Jazz Band and the All District Band. Joel Porball next to Josh and Jennifer Wagner next to Joel. In the trombones, or in the trombone section, Steve Emmy, who's a member of the All District Jazz Band. Next to him, uh, Nate Montgomery, playing uh, the pretend trombone. <laughs> <laughs> On the piano, Katie Emmy, who's a member of the All District Band. Uh, Emily Sarms. Sometimes they play at the same time, they, they fool me. And Seth Lane plays bass for us. Uh, back in the drums, we got three drummers, as you may have noticed. Uh, Nathan Atterbury, Zach Gray, and Kendall Mathen, who's really a member of the All District Jazz Choir. But rather than invent another thing on my computer to put that on there, I just put that he was a member of the jazz band. Kendall will be playing drums for the All District Jazz Choir, and uh, that's just like being selected for the All District Band. He's also a member of the All District Band. Now, we'd like to play 
a tune that comes from a Count Basie album that was released in the mid-1950s entitled The Atomic Basie. If you were here early, you probably heard it coming through the wall. I don't know if any of you were here early enough, but it was up there. And uh, it was pretty much a monumental recording for the Basie Band back in the 1950s. And it features the music of Neil Hefty. And Neil Hefty, some of you may know, became famous for writing the Batman TV show theme. But before he did that, he wrote arrangements for the Count Basie Band. And they were probably more fun to listen to, at least for us. And this album features his arrangements with the Count Basie Band. We'd like to play a number from that album. It's called Splanky. And it features a little bit of Nate Atterbury on drums. Kevin Emmons playing alto sax. Josh Hodgson on trumpet. And the piano players. <laughs>
Two years ago, this group performed at a jazz festival called the Rutabaga Jazz Festival over at Knox College. And the group played at about 8 o'clock in the morning. And the judges, it was like we were the first band to play, and I think there was like half an hour, an hour break in between our band and the other bands. And there was one judge came up and worked with the band, and he was very enthusiastic, and he told the group how good they had played. When some of them thought they hadn't played that good. And he said, you know, it's incredible that you guys can play this good at 8 o'clock in the morning. And this judge looked like he had flown in late the night before and looked like he was tired. And, but he was very enthusiastic and very positive with the students. And his name was Dennis de Blasio. And some of the students played in an all-star band that they had made up of groups playing at that festival. And they performed uh, some of his music and really enjoyed it. And because of that, I purchased a recording of his, and we became uh, very familiar with the tune of his entitled Joe's Vacation, which we've listened to for the past couple of years. We didn't buy the arrangement of it until this year, and uh, we'd like to play it, for, play it for you now. It will feature Seth Lane on bass, Kendall Maffin on drums, the piano, <laughs> Kevin Emmons on baritone saxophone this time, Matt Butchko on trumpet, Corey Atterbury on tenor saxophone, and it's a Latin number, and we think that you'll really enjoy it. We've enjoyed playing it. I know a lot of the people around the school have commented about that thing. They just say, what's that thing that you play? And, well, it's Joe's Vacation, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Now, it will be our last number. Uh, we'd like to thank you for coming out to this. This is the first time uh, that we've had just the jazz band alone, and we've enjoyed preparing for this concert, and we will be playing again at the uh, Christmas concert in about a month. So, thank you for coming out and listening to the jazz band, Joe's Vacation.
guitar? <laughs> one more, one, one more. more.